Alright guys, so we started off chapter 1 part 2 by changing each of our characters clothes. Yu-Gi-Oh got some nice blue armor okay. and Kirito's got this weird black robe that really doesn't fit him. This might become a really short video just because half of chapter 1.2 is pretty much all side quests. And I didn't feel like recording them because they were a pain in the ass to finish all of them. But all the fishing spots did reset and so I spent a lot of time fishing. Because honestly, that's the most fun I've had with this game so far. As I was completing all the side quests, I did accidentally step way too close to a main point check marker and it paused this cutscene. After hearing that noise, we decided to check it out and we actually meet this chick. She was kind of in all the trailers, but we really don't know who she is. We decided to help her out, not because we're good guys, but she's got a pretty big chest. These enemies went down pretty easily only because I spent so much time on the, all the side quests and I pretty much doubled their level. After the fight, we kind of settled down, asked everyone if they're okay, and turns out she's pissed at us because we helped her. She's one of those independent women who don't like getting help. After talking for a bit, we realized we're going in the same direction. We asked to team up because we don't want to get hunted by any more monsters. We eventually agree and start to go that way, and the game doesn't let me stop and go and finish my side quests, so we're forced to continue on the main quest. For story's sake, I will tell you, she's trying to get stronger on her own for her own personal reasons, so it's okay that she didn't want our help, and she's just trying to hone her own skills. After the cutscene, we are automatically teleported to the Rivalier Forest. That's how you say that. But I wasn't done with all my side quests, so I turned it back. I will say a lot of the side quests were pretty stale. But there are these statues around kind of the whole area that give you challenges, and if you complete those challenges, they give you some rewards. One of the challenges was to take down this beast, and honestly, it helped me a lot because I kind of learned how to fight and what's the best way to fight. I don't really know how to unlock these so far, I should have read the tutorial when it told me, but you get these cool sacred arts where you can do like a finish art or a, uh, what, strong art or something like that, and it's pretty cool. Even though I was a level up, this thing was taking almost no damage, so I pretty much considered it a mini bomb. My strategy was to basically fill up the gray bar that basically kind of stuns it, and what you can do is press A to break it, and then it will take extra damage while it's on the ground, and you do whatever you need to do to it to increase your damage. Oh, I also got Yu-Gi-Oh to do his kind of uh, finish art thing, or whatever. This game also has a legit mechanic where the power of friendship actually makes you stronger. If your team attacks together all in sync, it does more damage and it does kind of like a chain super combo or whatever. But yeah, honestly that fight was kind of fun even though it took me around 10 minutes because it was my first time kind of figuring out everything and I don't read tutorials. So after completing pretty much all the side quests, there was one that required me to be level 32 so I didn't want to do it, slash probably couldn't. We went back to the forest I named earlier that I'm forgetting the name of. As we moved along the trail we triggered another cutscene and we see this man. He dies. Turns out he didn't die and he was actually just collecting flowers for his daughter because his daughter's getting married. I don't really understand how you can collapse from that, but we make sure he's okay and then he goes towards the fields of flowers where he's headed in the direction before. A young girl comes right after and we find out this is his daughter. The daughter's actually looking for the father because the field in which he's going to pick the flowers is actually entangled with a bunch of beasts. We get another close up of Medina's chest and we're off to save the father. We find the father and it turns out he's being attacked by a bunch of bees. Medina tries to act all badass even though it's just a bunch of bees that we're about to kill. It's truly not that difficult. We kill all the bees and save the father, but Medina gets most of the credit. Okay, all of the credit. It's getting late so we decide to make camp near this campfire. As I interact with the campfire, we again change art styles. And again, I much rather prefer this. I don't know why they needed to try and make it look realistic, this is so much better. During this cutscene, we're basically arguing if we need to make camp or basically continue in the night walking towards the village we are going to, which is named, I think, Zachary or Zakari, I really don't know. We eventually agree that we need to stay tonight and actually eat something for dinner. The game forces me to try and find ingredients to cook this dinner, but thanks to all my suffering back in doing all the side quests, I don't have to do anything. We eat the food, and then say it's good, and then we go to bed. During the night, Medina has these dreams about her past. The first one's basically her trying to train with her father and realizing her father's too strong for her to beat. The second one, she goes through a rebellious phase and basically says she hates her father. Her father then just dies and apparently people just kind of think he deserved it.
私はメディナ・オルティナノスあなたの残した剣で聖護騎士となり So now we know Medina's personal goal. She's trying to become an integrity knight to basically clear her family's name for whatever reason. We wake up and I'm woken to a bunch more side quests. And I'm a completionist, so I need to do them, and they're the most annoying things ever when I see them. Because this video is actually really short right now, and I should have cut the other side quests in the recording, I'm actually just going to let you guys watch this fight and basically get a feel for the mechanics. I do actually kind of struggle in this fight for some reason. The birds do a lot of damage. Side quest there was basically just to take out three birds. We went back to the man and collected the reward. The same guy offered another quest is basically just to collect four berries. I did it real fast. The other quest that was available was like kill a giant water spider. I couldn't find it, so I gave up and continued on the main quest. After walking through the gate, we're introduced to the Sus Mountains. So close to the end of the main quest, I decide to stop and fish because I can. After fishing, we decide to walk through the gate, and again, we switch our styles. After that cutscene ends, we basically part ways with Medina. I'll let you guys watch this, it's basically explaining the two year gap difference. ブーリットの村を出発した数日後、そして雑貨リアで、衛兵隊への入隊審査を兼ねた検事、衛兵隊に入隊できるのは、大会の東西ブロックを、俺たちは大会に備え、雑貨リア近くの農場に身を寄せ